The Shroomies. This is a story of a place no human has ever been to. A place deep in the forest, in the middle of the earth, where mushrooms and toadstools grow. The home of the mushroom people, the Shroomies. Oh, oh yes, my mushroom grew. My mushroom grew. My spell worked. Mooly! My spell worked! Ooh, I am so proud of you. So, as you can see, the Shroomies used magic to grow mushrooms. Not just for mushrooms. They used magic even to create art, mend things, and, well, for most things. Magic was mostly the job of the men and the women. All the women had to do was to look pretty. The mushroom people were very proud of their land, their field of mushrooms, and their long, bushy tails. They would spend a lot of time decorating their tails with little bows or flowers and colors. One night... Mooly, when is the baby coming? Any time now. I hope it is a boy who can do spells or a really, really pretty girl with the prettiest tail in the world. So what do I get, a brother or a sister? You... I've not covered the crop! Take an umbrella! A bolt of lightning struck Mooly. She fainted. And then, a few days later... Our baby! Our baby! We shall call her Pelooey. Pelooey! Pelooey is beautiful! <gasps> what? What's the matter? <gasps> Pelooey, Dramu, and Muli's little daughter was born without a tail. A shrimpy that has no tail! Oh, horror! Oh, terror! Oh, horror! Oh, terror! Not a true shroomy! No way! Oh, never! An insult of true shroomy honor! None of the shroomies wanted to become friends with Pelowi, and Pelowi could never understand why they all avoided her, why her parents seemed sad whenever they looked at her. Yes, she was missing a tail, but it was not like she had chosen to not have one. So as Pelowi grew older, she became lonelier. And since anyone hardly spoke to her, she began to stammer. Take this. Er, no. Wait. You pour that. I will take this outside. Who is that inside? Ah, your daughter is it. Come, come out, child. Don't you want to say hello to mommy and daddy's friends? Uh, uh, what? What's your name, child? Lon. Er. Her name is Pulawi. Go inside at once. By the way, Pulawi has made the cake. Sh she has no tail! If only you had not stepped out into the lightning. Poor Pulawi never understood what fault she was being punished for. Time passed by. One day... Dromu, you are one of the most influential shroomies of this village, and you still haven't sent Pelowi to school? She is old enough now. You... you know how she is. I don't care. Every child goes to school. So Dromu had to send his daughter to school. For Pelowi, the thought of spending an entire morning out of home, with everyone looking at her strangely, making fun of her, Avoiding her was terrifying. 
Trembling, she sat in the class all alone. Good morning, little lady shroomies. Good morning, Good morning shroomy, shroomy ma'am. Open your books to page 21 and let us begin reading. Who would like to read aloud? Would you like to try? La long. <laughs> Hi, I, I, I am happy to have you in class. This was perhaps the first time that someone had seemed to genuinely like Poloi. Poloi decided that she would become the best student in class. She had a natural talent for spells. She found out one night in a strange way. Look what I found. An injured butterfly. I will get it sorted in just a jiffy. Ah! Why doesn't my spell work? Ah! You... Can't you get this simple spell right? Give him a break. Hifu! Mother, you know it's true. Poloi didn't really mind what Hifu said because she was used to mean comments. What she was really interested in was to make the spell work. I did it! I did it! Really? All I needed was some time to work. N n I I You will not understand these things. Go get me my food. Poloi was learning really fast and was able to do extraordinary things with new, innovative spells. But So, who knows the answer to this question? Yes, Poloi? Earth... um... Angs? <laughs> I know you know the answer. <laughs> yes! I... I... did... I understand. You're just not used to talking. Do you want to work on it? Yeah, yes! We will work on it together. And we will begin by reading aloud together every day after class. Okay? Oh, oh, okay. So, day after day, Poloi and her teacher worked together after school. They read, they studied, and most of all, they spoke. Is it so, so oh, bad not to have a t tail? Is it wrong? The, 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 the light lightning m made me me like this. What matters, Poloi, is not how we look but rather who we choose to become. You're good. You're talented, Poloi. Don't you ever let anyone take that away from you, okay? How's that spell experiment that you have been working on? It's not ready yet. Just keep working on it, all right? Ye yes Poloi had a dream all her life she had been told that lightning had hurt her mother, and hence she had been born without a tail. All because her father had wanted to protect his crop of mushrooms. What if? What if she could create a spell so that her father's mushrooms would never be affected by thunder or lightning or any kind of storms? Poloi worked at the spell, 
She worked after school. She worked secretly at home in the middle of the night. For weeks, for months, for two whole years. And one night, my spell is, is ready. It is ready. She sneaked out and poured the spell on her father's mushroom field. That night, Hifu, there might be a storm tonight. Go cover the crop. Your mother and I are going out. All right, father. I will go after dinner. But of course, Hifu forgot. And that night, there really was a storm, a terrible one. All the fields in the village were badly damaged, except Dromu's crop, because of Poloe's spell. When Poloe's parents returned in the morning, what a terrible storm it was! Our fields! Even covering the mushrooms would not have saved them. What? Yeah, your fields, Romu. Muli, Muli, our our field is safe. How? Seems like a spell. Hifu, Hifu. Yeah, yes, my son. You created a spell to protect our mushrooms. I, I. We are so proud of you. Give, Give us the spell, spell too. too. I, I still need to perfect it. Everyone was happy for Dromu, but someone was jealous. The village headman. Who knew? I want that spell to create magical mushrooms. We will share the spell the moment it is perfected. Come on! We shroomies work with spells all our lives and any baby shroomy can tell you that this spell is already perfect. The glow in your field is proof of it. You're just lying just so that you have the best mushroom field in the kingdom. Give me the spell now or else I will have you removed from this village. You, you can't do that. I am the head man and I can do anything. So either you give me that spell or else... Don't you dare. Bluey! Hifu, come on, tell everyone. How did you make that spell? I... I... You don't know it. You know why? Because you did not make it. I did. Wha what? I did it, Mother, and I have been doing it all my life, ever since I've been going to school, right from the day he brought home that poor, injured butterfly. You! Pulowy! Yes, the shroomy without a tail. Pulowy! You made this grand, beautiful, divine spell? I did not want lightning to hurt anyone again. And now we all know the spell works. I will share it with all of you. Here it is. This is the spell for all of you. Now no one will have to rush out in a storm to cover their fields. And no Poloe will be born without a tail again. We're, we're so, so sorry. I did not have a tail. But you forgot that even the shroom you have no tails to have hearts. Hearts that feel pain and insult, and they still have intelligence that can do beautiful things. Had it not been for my teacher, I would have still been crying in some corner, struggling to talk. That day, the shroomies realized that it does not matter how we look, but rather who we choose to become. And by the way, from now on, the job of making magic was no longer just for boys, it was for girls too.